Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where a creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're back with another alternate using the Sweet Springtime February 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit. This is the kit as it is intended to make right here. But before we get started on our project, we're gonna go over some buzzworthy business of the day. We have our March paper pumpkin kit, Memorable Meadows. It includes a free stamp set. It makes nine cards and the garden green is this classic stamping spot. Um, if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, you can purchase the Love of Spring dies add-on for $12. The item number is 164396. And again, these dies do coordinate with January, February and March paper pumpkin kit, okay? We have our mystery boxes up next. These are the medium flat rate USPS boxes that I have stuffed full of my new used but all retired Stamp It Up product, okay? I am asking $30 for each of these boxes. Shipping is included. I can only mail and sell in the USA. If you are interested, please email me at stampwithshawn at gmail.com or visit me at my blog at honeybeestampinghive.com and click on the image of this flyer. Next up, we have our February host code. This is the code I want you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code. You're going to qualify for Stampin' Rewards, and Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stampin' Up! And we don't want you to miss out on any of your freebies. And again, during celebration, you can earn free products for every $50 that you spend before shipping and tax. And that is it for all of our buzzworthy business. Let's go ahead and get started with our card. So I'm going to do some stamping on the inside. We have a piece of three and a half by four and three fourths. And we're going to stamp using early espresso, the flower that comes in the stamp set from the kit. If I don't tell you where these stamps are coming from, then it's from the kit because this is alternates using the kit, right? So if I'm using a stamp from a different stamp set, I will let you know. So we have um, a card base here of early espresso. Um, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And we are going to stamp on the back of this with my personalized stamp. So we can get that out of the way. And then we have a piece here of some scrap paper. Um, I'm not sure what size it is, but it's we're going to be using the Love of Spring dies that coordinate with this um, paper pumpkin kit. So let me show you those dies. We're going to be using this one that I have set aside somewhere <laughs> for our, um, our sentiment, okay? So these are the Love of Spring dies that coordinate with the paper pumpkin. Um, we're going to be stamping springtime greetings from the kit. Just going to get that right there in the middle. Close up our ink because that's all of our stamping. Let's go ahead and color these flowers. So I have the light daffodil delight. Oops, I don't want that in. We're gonna do some rough coloring here. That daffodil delight. Then we're gonna get light crumb cake. Just color in these centers. Then we're gonna get light granny apple green color the stems and the leaves. I hope you guys are enjoying this series of my alternates for this paper pumpkin kit. This is, I believe, project number nine out of 10. If you haven't seen um, one through eight, videos one through eight, please go back and watch those, okay? So we're going to just glue this inside of our card base here. All right, so we have that done. And let's go ahead and do some die cutting so we can just go ahead and put this card together. So we're going to get out the Baby Boss, the mini stamp and cut in a boss machine. And we're going to die cut our sentiment. So we're going to put that here. And this, this is the die that comes in the Love of Spring dies. And I wanna try to get this on here straight. I'm gonna hold this down with a bit of washi. Hopefully it doesn't move on us. Okay. 
Okay, so we have our sentiment die cut out. And we are going to go ahead and put this card together. So I have um, a couple of pieces from card, two different card fronts. They are um, two and five eighths by four inches. Two and five eighths? Yeah, two and five eighths by four. <laughs> okay, so we are going to put these two together. Let me see. We're going to just line these up evenly. And we're going to take a piece of uh, early espresso. I have um, gone ahead and put some tear and tape on the back. This is four inches by um, and half a, a half an inch. So we're going to remove our tear and tape backing. And this is what is going to hold these two pieces together. Let me see, I think I want these cut flowers to the bottom here. I'm just going to do it just like that. Okay, then I have a piece of, um, what is this ribbon? It's from a duo pack. It's called the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. <laughs> it comes in with another one that is in Lemon Lolly. Uh, not Lemon Lolly, Lemon Lime Twist, I do believe. Um, so I've added some washi tape, not washi tape. Oh my goodness. Why tear and tape and washi tape? I keep getting confused. Tear and tape to the back of our ribbon here. That looks cricket. Oh boy. Okay. But we're going to put this across here. And then this is also going to help secure these two pieces together like that. Okay. And then I have the frame from the kit and we're going to add this to our card front. So I'm going to use liquid glue on the kit. They use just glue dots, but I want to make sure this is down pretty good. And I'm just putting it around the frame. We're not um, going to put it on the little grass area. Just the frame of it. And I'm not putting a lot of glue, but this glue really works. So a little is all you need. Whoop, sentiment. Okay. Yeah, that is cricket, but there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put this onto, oh, I was supposed to pop this up. Oh, well, it's getting flat now. Put this onto our card front. <laughs> Sometime I forget, I designed these cards all at once and now I'm going back and making them. I forget some of the things that I had in my mind to do. Mm, I should have put this on top of here. See, things that I... Okay, anyway. Bunny and Chick from the kit. I'm going to glue this down flat. And we're going to slide them under these grass pieces if I can lift it up. Come up. Just like that. Okay. And then, and then, and then, we are going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our sentiment label here. So, use some of my little edge pieces here. And we're going to pop this up at the top, in the middle, my middle. My goodness, that is bothering me. <laughs> okay, so I am going to use, I think, um, the Celebration Opaque Faceted Gems. These are free with the $50 purchase. One of your choices. So, <laughs> I think I want to put one up here of this um, pecan pie. Let's put two over here. 
Mm, I'll use another big one. Just like that. But I also have the um, loose daisy embellishments. And I want to use some of these. So let me put some little dabs of glue on here. Hmm. We'll put one right there. Okay, so I've tried to do a little dab of glue. I'm going to get my little putty attachment for my Take Your Pick tool so that I can pick up some of these daisies. I want the white and yellow ones. They're white with yellow centers. Um, and I think I'm going to use a small one over here. Okay, and that's it. That is our card done. What do you think? Besides the cricketness and this should have been underneath. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. I think it's a cute design on the inside. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye. Bye.